He's sitting Friday the 13th. Oh, damn! Hold up, let me take your mask. Two people have to die. But first, someone has to call Tommy before the two people die. Whoever dies first is gonna be Tommy Jervis. No, usually, um, it's a better thing if you die first, cause um, you, well, when the first person dies, they're probably going through the cutscene. Call him. But first, you gotta die before, uh, so. Oh yeah, um, if um, do you wanna know how to be Tommy Jarvis one hundred percent? Um, first, um, someone has to first if someone has to die, then someone has to kill themselves. The person who got killed by Jason is, um, Tommy. Remember how that worked last time? <laughs> that was funny, Bunny. Okay, I'm at the graveyard now. Is it on top of that island thing? They're like, what? Oh, it's a little pocket. That's gay. Bonnie, where are you? Okay, yeah. I wanna, I'm gonna hit you with this, but I'm not gonna hit you. I want to, but I'm not. I'm over here trying to throw a knife at you, but I'm not even Jason. What does this sign say? N private property, no trespassing. Willers will be prosecuted. Okay. Hey. That's not very nice. Come on. What'd you call me? Damn peasant. Oh, here it is. You stupid peasant. No, no, don't kill me. And I'm getting a break away from this Jason. It's hella hard. Take that axe and then smack him. Who's gonna be Jarvis? Well, was Jarvis has to know what they're doing. Okay. So, um, kill Deadpool quick. I mean, no, don't kill Deadpool. Don't kill Deadpool. And or less it's gonna mess up. You have to go kill the Magua, and then Deadpool has to kill himself. Either, don't, don't kill me. I, I'm killing myself. No. If de then Deadpool is gonna be what's it called? The Magua, if you, you have to, okay, so Deadpool is going to be, um, oh, I do, but do whatever you want. Okay. Oh my God. They got some ratchet pants up in here. I'm already dead. Oh my god, you killed yourself. Okay, then now you got. Now, yeah, Tommy's been called. Now you have to kill Deadpool. 
Oh, I think it might be him. I don't know. It could be either one. But I remember you. I uh, remember you killed me, then Hadley killed himself, and then um I was Jarvis. But I think it might go the other way now. Okay, come on. Let him kill you. Okay. Now do it. Kill him. No, he's cut off his arms. Look at his eyes now. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, yes, the Magua. Oh, yeah, he's going to be right here. I said it might work the opposite way. I don't know. Because. Okay. Meet up at the, um, where do you want to kill him at? Let's kill him at the big house. That's a nice, clean area. Meet me at the big house. I'm gonna have to run like miles to get there. Mmm, run, run, boo. I thought that's, um, Tommy Jarvis has to push him down. But first you need a machete. Hopefully. I hope we are gonna do it. Come here. We got, we're gonna do some fun of the big house. There should be a machete. Okay, there's another shotgun too. Oh my God. Bonnie, come here. Bonnie. Come here. Um, by the power supply, we cut it off. Oh, I almost killed Tommy. If he would have ran a little bit forward, we would have failed. But could we just like get the thing over with? Stop working the electricity. We using power. Come on. All this is doing is just leveling me up. Okay, could we just now kill Jason though? Come on. Okay, come on to the front. Just don't destroy it. <laughs> okay, let's just go, let's just go. Bonnie, just stop destroying it now, though. It's just kind of just going crazy. Okay, let's go. Please, Bonnie. He's going to keep... Could we just do this, Bonnie? Come on, let's go. Let's go, Bonnie. Bonnie, let's just go. Bonnie, come on. Bonnie. 
Bonnie, come on over here. We're killing you over here. Cause I can't even pull up the menu. Okay, come, come next to Jason. Decide to kill him here. Jason. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Bruh. Well, that was just a big fail. Uh, let me invite my friend. I paid the money. So now, okay, he's a, what's, oh, right there. You like destroying this power, beautiful power electricity. We're touching it. You ain't touching our power. You touch our power, you go to prison. Come on, maggot head. Yeah. Fixed. Now stop destroying it. You maggot head. You ain't putting us out of power. How dare you try to put us out of power? Come on. Let us listen to our power. How to kill Jason. Let me check out how to do this. Hey guys, Fairlight here and he paid a million dollars. How to kill Jason. There's been a lot of rumors going around about how to do it and some theories and misinformation getting thrown around, but I'm gonna show you old sweater. Different spots where it can appear. It shouldn't be too hard to find it. You're gonna have to explore a little bit. But once you do find it, Head inside, grab the sweater. Now keep in mind, for this part, you must be playing as a female. It doesn't matter which girl you're playing as, as long as it's a girl. But later on, we're gonna trick Jason by pretending to be his mom. So if you're playing as a guy, the voice won't sound right, he doesn't fall for it. So you have to be a female character, whoever's doing this part. Look for this old cabin, head inside, Pamela's body is on the floor, the sweater is on the table nearby. Now keep in mind, when you go into this cabin, Jason gets a warning right away and he'll know you're in there. And he can teleport right across the map and he'll be on top of you right away. Uh, so be ready. This is a step you may want to just leave for last. The next thing you need to get done is knocking the mask off of Jason. Now, my friends and I have tested this with just about every weapon in the game. We've hit him multiple times from different angles, hit him in the body, hit him in the head. And based on everything I've seen, your best bet is definitely the machete. The machete makes your life that much easier. You should be good. Remember to aim up when you swing a player who's already escaped or a player who's a character. He's your sweater. Activate the sweater like an item and start imitating his mom. 
once she tells him to calm down and come closer, Jason will drop his guard, he'll walk up to her, and she just needs to whack him over the head with the bat. Once he drops to his knees, Tommy comes swooping in for the kill, and nails him in the head with some machete-flavored justice. That's our boy. He'll walk up to her, and she... Jason gets close to her. She oh my god. We messed up so off. bad. Once she tells we could have killed him. Closer, when he, when Jason walk walks over, over to you, you have to hit him, and then he falls on his knees, and then Tommy kills him. Well, I'm supposed to hit him with the baseball bat. Delicious slow mo cinematic kills. Now, I don't think it actually matters who does the stuff. I know. I think once the girl okay, gets we're not, guard, we're gonna have to restart this. Bat or an axe could stun him. Uh, as long as Jason is close enough yeah. to get in there and get that final kill, you're good to go. Then you're gonna have to he's get killed. You're not gonna make retarded threats at us. Once he's stunned, he's only gonna be stunned for a few seconds. So each of these things needs to happen in pretty rapid succession. Otherwise, you're gonna miss out. Now at this point, once Jason's dead, all the players left alive in the lobby win by default. Now obviously in this video a lot of it was staged because we had our friend playing as Jason standing still while we did all this testing. In a real match, you're not going to have a Jason who's making it so easy for you, so you're going to have to play it really smart. My suggestion, uh, and I, I haven't actually done it yet, hopefully I'll be able to get a video of that. My suggestion is last, because you know Jason will teleport there to try and protect it. That's all I got for you. If you have any... I wonder how much points you get from murdering Jason. You do not get no... 164 that's crappy people people say they get lots of points from doing that why are you trying to kill me huh I thought you get like a lot more than 164 Kill him! He's trying to kill me. You hit me! So, what do you think's gonna happen? If you kill me, you're gonna get zero points, so I don't care. I'm gonna get one XP. Wait, no, Bonnie, no. No, 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 no. Even at the last second, don't even kill me. Don't kill me at the last second either. I broke for you. I'm sick of you all. No raggedy threats of killing us. And no McGee threats. It's 9.23. How about for you, Bonnie? What time is it for you? Um, who wants to get the sweater? And who wants to be Tommy? I'll get the sweater. Bonnie, you'll kill, you'll, um, you'll kill, um, him with this, um, thing. Deadpool's gonna try to kill us, though.
Okay. Alright. I um Okay, let's get this ready up. I want to you what map do you want to kill Jason on? Back neck. Everyone, you're using my character. I don't know you like this character, Bonnie. I've never even seen you use this guy. Someone, the Magua, ready up. You Call of Duty Magua. I'm already ready. Oh. Migi. Oh. The mug will ready up. Maji. <laughs> Emoji. <laughs> New way to kill Jason. You want to know a way how to kill Jason without easing that way? Where Jason just falls over. You have to go into a glitch spot and then Jason has to go into a spot and Jason falls over and dies. What? <laughs> like like oh. oh yeah, that's funny. He teleports right back. The mission was instantly done when they showed the list, did it? She just like teleported right back. Okay. Someone commits suicide, then someone has to get murked. So Bonnie is gonna, um, what's the, um, oh, this is pack knack. I already know what this is. Who's, who's gonna die first? You are gonna die, Deadpool, because we're gonna have to kill you. I have to stick a nice little beautiful machete through your face. Oh, hey guys. Yeah, but let Bonnie call Tommy Jarvis. Don't kill me. So, don't kill me, Deadpool. Cause I'm gonna be the one using, wait, grab me so I can break free. I want to see how fast I can break free I, on this character. Grab me. Don't kill me, though. This character is, like, fast. It's Tommy Jobs at breaking free. Okay, let's go to your shack. I already know where it is. It's down over here in the crease. Follow me. M meet me there. I like it. Why don't you like it? The stamina is good. The stamina is fast for me.
This character, the stamina comes fast like Tommy, and um, what's it called? The um, it can break free. Oh, I was at, I was, I was at the right spot, cause like on this map, I already know where the house is. It only spawns one place. Could you grab me and then take me there? Cause my character is out of stamina. No, unless he presses a button. Don't kill me, just take me there. Thank you, I regenerated my stamina. My character's gonna get scared and stunned as soon as he sees this. Um, this is a beautiful house you got here. Um, come here. No, to take off your mask. Come here. Place is kind of ratchet though. That's what I'm looking. Tell me when you're unstunned. I wish I could have that axe. That's a good axe. This character looks like he's so scared. She's so scared. She looks like she's about to die. I need a couple more hits and it's gonna come off. Combat mode doesn't really do nothing against your mask. Oh my god, this thing is a twig. What is your mom telling? So Bonnie's gonna have to die. I have the sweater, he can't kill me. You have to have two people die first. Unless people escape. Not me, I got the sweater. You can't get the sweater back. Oh yeah, come to me, Jason. I got you. I got the two by four. Two by four is good at whooping you. I'm at the big house. Go ahead to Pack Knack Lodge. The campfire, teleport to the campfire by Pack Knack. Yeah, the teleport to the campfire right in front of the big house. I don't see you. you. Teleported to the wrong spot. I see you on the mountain. You're, cr you're crawling down the trees. I see you. You're just over there by the um that house. Coming to you. About to give you a mohawk. I have to do it. I can't help myself what I'm doing. One, two, three. Okay. This thing, why am I just one hitting you now? Like every hit you're getting knocked down literally. You can't even take a break. Oh my God. 
Come on, we gotta get a new weapon. Come here. I'm cooking in here. First, I gotta do a lot of damage, Sam. Come inside the big house. I'm gonna do damage to him, then use the machete. Face off. I got a um trophy. Face off. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god, I moved the mask thirteen times. Oh my god, that thing looks like a clown, bruh. I'm gonna shave the I'm gonna save this machete for you. Okay. Okay, someone's gonna have to um die. Not me. I don't want to die. Yep. We get some sand pond trail. You have to get killed, Bon. You can't just say, oh, I don't want to get killed. You have to. Tommy needs to spawn in. I'll have to kill you myself, Bonnie. Come on. Hit. Bonnie, you have to die. This is why I don't really like to do glitches with you. You always don't want to do something. I know it's not a glitch, but. We're not killing you for no reason. We need Tommy to spawn in. Unlock this window. I mean, unlock this door. Come to Sand Pond Trail. God, you got some fuck. This ain't the 4th of July, Bonnie. Um, Bonnie, could you open this door, please? No, 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 this is me. Can you grab him? Oh my god, you just pimp slapped him. Oh, you're gonna kill yourself instead. Yeah, you, Jason's gonna kill you. He can break free. You're gonna hang him up to dry. Oh yeah, you're right here. Yeah, come here. We can do this now. Okay, here. Take this, take this machete. Take this machete. Come here, I, I dropped this machete right at the house. When I dropped the mask, Hi. Oh, you almost killed me. Take that machete. Can you, did you, Tommy, did you take the machete? 
You took it? Okay, I got this pipe. Okay, let's do it now. We got let's do it in the street. So a call hit us. Come on. I know. What if a car just came over there and killed Jason for us? Okay. Stand right by Jason. I'm not gonna I'm not don't hit him, I gotta hit him. I know. Now, do it, do it. Yes. Dead. <laughs> I took a screenshot of that. Oh yeah, I'm doing a video of this too. Wait, he's not dead yet. Now he's dead. I got a thing, a hero. Oh, we didn't get a trophy. funny mm -mm. actually I don't want to be Tommy I don't want to die why do I gotta die okay what are you? I know I'm gonna be Tom. I'm gonna be Tommy Jarvis. So I have to die first. I know you're gonna kill me, and then you have to kill Deadpool, and Bonnie's gonna stun him. And I know. I'm saying dead. Me I said. I said you have to, st I said Bonnie has to, you need a girl character. Oh my God, Bonnie. If you, I thought you wanted to do it. You bum, bum, be you to the end. We're gonna kill Jason twice. He gone, he gone to heaven. Why he gone to heaven? Okay, Jason point six, that's Jason lives. I thought he doesn't die. Oh yeah, he does get murdered. Don't the cops kill him? No, the um J the uh, Jason lives. Yeah. Jason put a fly was just weird. There's a regular little hockey mask. Some come to um Blair's Cove and then kill me. First kill me first so I could be Tommy. Chapter. A new beginning 
follows the character of Tommy Jarvis. Um, Blair's cool. Blair's cool. He's about 17, but the man who plays him, John Shepard, was pushing 30 when this movie was made. But if they had put it in 1999, then they'd have to pull out all this weird sci-fi shit. And honestly, who the hell would do something so crazy in the price of the 13th series? Give me sweet relief. Give me sweet relief. Give me sweet relief. I'm cooking s'mores. Give me sweet relief. Give me sweet relief. I don't want to be a s'more. Which is an interesting strategy to take. Move on from the iconic horror villain you created to be your similarity to the work of the slasher villain who tormented these parts all those years ago. Which is an interesting strategy to take. Move on from the iconic horror villain you created to a whole new horror villain by constantly reminding people about the iconic one that you made. Right. Anyway, let's take a look at Friday the 13th, A New Beginning, and see exactly why it is that so many people told me if I really... Wait, first let them take your mask off. Could just skip this one. The story begins on a dark and stormy night as we see... Call Tommy, the through the dark and then the you have to get the... Oh, yeah, take the sweater... And then Jarvis, call Tommy. And grave being Jason Voice. Tommy again being played by Corey Feldman. And I am so good at pronouncing last names. Before he can finish staring crazily at it, suddenly two teenagers show up out of the blue. Seems that weekend's plans involve finding Jason's grave and digging his ass up for shits and giggles. Seriously, they are way too excited about this. <laughs> Dead bodies, man! Yeah! Oh, this is way better than last weekend's panty raid at the retirement home. For some reason, actually prying the coffin open and seeing the guy makes the two men shut up and look all concerned. Maybe because dead people aren't quite as fun as they were anticipating. And they buried Jason in his mask. With his machete. Is it any more obvious they were clearly planning for a sequel? At this point, Tommy, despite showcasing the new thing Tommy under pressure, and was capable of taking Jason on in the last movie, suddenly devotes Don't kill him until he, the fear. Tommy's he called. There, waiting for Jason to come in and, and the mask him. is off. <laughs> but it was all just a dream! And Voorhees doesn't have that dream-killing power, so Tommy's fine. But he's grown up in an instant, now being played by the aforementioned John Shepard. Today, he's being transformed from the Unger Institute of Mental Health to the Pinehurst Youth Development Center. It's just a nicer way of saying child-centric nuthouse. Upon his arrival, we are introduced to two adults in charge. Pam, played by Melanie Kinnaman, and Matt, played by Richard I could spectate you. Wait, don't kill him until Tommy's called. Uh, we don't have any guards here. Nobody's Stop playing around. Just let him take your mask off. There are no rules here at Pinehurst. Just a very or a severe psychological... Dave couldn't just scope out the place. <gasps> Wait a minute, this isn't part three. The surprise jump scare in your face was provided by Shavar Ross, who plays Reggie. They call me Reggie the Red No spice. Get a machete. Well, if you really want to scare the kid, you can pull the knife out again. This is taking way too long to introduce everyone, so suddenly the police arrive, causing everyone to rush outside to find out what the commotion is. Introducing Reggie's grandfather, George, played by Vernon Washington, Sheriff Tucker, played by Marco St. John, Jake and Violet, played by Jerry Pavlon, and Tiffany Helm, and finally Tina and Eddie, played by Deborah Voorhees, and John Robert Dixon. How did he take my mask off so fast if he can't even take your mask off? They were screwing their heads off, Matt. Or just those two were fucking. Or literally screwing each other's heads off. But we saw that in the morgue in the last movie. Tucker was happy to get them before the crazy bitch who owned the place noticed they were there. Except it seems that Sirens might have tipped her off as she arrives soon after. Ethel, played by Carol Locatell. Now these kids ain't nothing but trouble. They don't respect others' property, and they're all crazy. You dumb Yeah, the characterization in this movie is... Uh, on the yeah. Simplistic oh yeah, you got a machete. Anyway, her son is Junior, played by Ron Sloan. Mask and the both of them look like they'd make more sense Do in it. the nut house rather than critiquing it. What? Call Would Tommy you now. Shut the fuck up. It's a movie review. I gotta keep talking, even if I can't. Hold the machete. Show a longer clip. I'm not saying no more. The content 
content ID bot don't give a fuck. I know. Pick up his mask. No, don't kill him yet until Tommy's called. She'll shoot them dead. Also, she threatens Tucker by saying she has a bomb on her and somehow Why still thinks she's Tommy. in the right. Considering half the people in the house don't even have discernible issues, what in the fuck kind of upside down land have we found ourselves in? With that, she leaves the residence cheer, and we really don't see all that much of her from here on out. Besides, we gotta get through introducing even more characters. Let's get out of here! Fuck! I'm sorry. Getting into society, but I really don't see how letting him roam free in the backyard and let nature take its course is supposed to help him any better than just throwing him out into society in the just general public. And Robin there, yeah, she is also a bit on the shy side, but not nearly to that point. I don't see how she couldn't work in society. And Violet, she's a punk. Like, that's it. How zany. As I don't want his help, he moves on to assist Victor, played by Mark Venturini, with chopping wood. Good thing, too, as Victor's just hacking away at a log sideways, and I have no fucking clue what he's even trying to accomplish here. I never really chopped wood before, but it certainly looks like fun. <laughs> Okay, now he actually looks like he has a reason to be here. Probably not with access to big fucking bladed objects, but hey, I don't set my nut houses up to set up a fucking slasher movie with them, now do I? Joey even gives a peace offering. Is that the house? After Victor wastes the precious sweets, yeah. Joey just tells him off and goes to leave. Okay. And the body count has started. The real one. Two guys in the opening were just a dream, so that doesn't count in this franchise. The police and paramedics arrive in short order, introducing Roy Burns, played by Dick Wyland, and Duke Johnson, played by Kesky Swain. After securing Victor in a patrol car, it's time to take care of that dead body. Oh, God. Roy Burns, played by <laughs> in the opening were just a dream, so that doesn't count in this franchise. The police and paramedics arrive in short order, introducing Roy Burns, played by Dick Wyland, and Duke Stop waiting the house, is just tall. After securing Victor in a patrol car, it's time it's to only take 11 that minutes. body. <laughs> by showing it off to all the kiddies. <laughs> Fuck, why stop there? Perform the autopsy on the front lawn. Throw the pancreas to Violet. I'm sure she can think of something to do with it. Duke is kind of a dick about this, but Roy takes the death a lot more seriously. Anyway, we suddenly teleport to a whole different area, meeting up with two new characters, Vinny and Pete, played by Anthony Barrill and Corey Parker. It seems they were on their way oh, it's over. When they passed through a yeah. movie and had car trouble. No bother, <laughs> Vinny can take care of this. At least he better, because Pete don't give a fuck. Get this done by the time I get back. I gotta take a crap. I think it's a blaze code, I think. Just do it, man. I mean it. Uh, I have to deal with some serious shit. But he can't just crap 15 feet away. No, in order to properly shit in the woods, he must go down the paths, over the hills, crossing rivers and mountains to find the perfect tree upon which he may take a dump. This brings him far enough out that he doesn't hear someone else sneaking up on Pete, masking himself with a flare, so before the man realizes he's not Vinny, he's already close enough for this. <laughs> This is why you gotta be careful with phosphorus flares. It'll kill you if you're a dummy. All right, um, you got the car started and you're a dead man. He's not wrong. He doesn't bother checking why Vinny's trying to fix the car with mouth to mouth, but either way, it seems to have worked as he gets the car started somehow. Let's go! The back at the farm, this just follow Jason to the, shit. um, what's it called? I mean, they say they had to, to edit um, out a lot of stuff to no, keep it in um, R rating because they were going to get an X rating, but that, I mean, come on, even the parts we do see him, don't look that good. There's only nine minutes, minutes left. straight to Tommy, still mentally unstable, tormented by memories of the night he killed Jason and the terror he saw. So it's time to take some of those good old drugs to feel better. <laughs> Why do you want to go now with people? I actually do like this part a lot better. I mean, Tommy doesn't have much of a range of emotion, but he does freak out well, and the psychological aspect just kind of works here. 
They push the angle of Tommy's insanity a hell of a lot better than all the other characters. I mean, he's clearly disturbed, but aside from the occasional social awkwardness, nobody else really comes across as being any different than the rest of the characters from the Friday the 13th series. <laughs> For instance, this insufferable prick who thinks he's hot shit because he's never faced a proper critique in his entire life. What's wrong? No sense of humor? Can't you take a joke? Oh, there it is, honey. Don't grab it, but throw knives at him because it's only eight minutes left. Wait a minute. We don't get that much time. This land of no rules and nobody telling Tommy what to do immediately steps in and tells Tommy to stop doing that. And don't turn the power off, which is gonna stop it. And then he takes a year to do the power. And are worried about the ramifications. What the hell's going on here? You talking to me, Sheriff? Huh? Oh, I thought you was talking to me. I'm an important it's character the other in this movie. Guy you know that, it. Sheriff? Remember this face, okay? Okay. Also, there's another scene that I could omit entirely. I mean, it ups the body count, but not by much, and it's almost entirely yeah, related to the rest of the movie. But I gotta keep it in for two big reasons. It's showtime! <laughs> Deadpool. This man, Billy, Deadpool. played by Bob Desimone, is a doctor at the Unger Institute of Mental Health, and Kill, um, always nice to yeah, include yeah, details whenever possible. So while he's waiting on his date, Lana, played by Rebecca Wood, to join yeah. him for a coke, the killer axes the back of his head before quickly hiding the body so that Lana doesn't suspect anything before returning when Lana's in the car. I thought I didn't want to die. Rather than drive, she just tries to run, but it's too late. You're gonna need a machete, um, Deadpool. Don't lock the doors, don't do any of that. Don't open drawers, just walk from the city. For kill Tommy kill. Of course, everyone keeps telling me that the original chant is actually ki 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 ma 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 for kill mommy kill, but no matter how hard I try, I can't hear it like that. Moving on, we see Tommy sees Jason yet again, but there's a big problem with assuming that Jason is the one responsible for these murders. Jason Voorhees is dead! This body was cremated. He's nothing but a handful of ash. Maybe. But tell me, what would no, happen if someone this. mistook that ash no, for cocaine? Um, makes more sense call. than what any of these Mine kids are being rehabilitated for. Like yeah, Tina and Eddie, the two fuckers from earlier. Whatever. It seems that's their ailment, nymphomania. The kind that only occurs every few days, and specifically between these two. Otherwise known as teenagers in love. Yeah. And what we've seen throughout most of the series already, so how is it not compatible with society? I should go wash up. No, no. But the guy goes to wash up while the lady stays behind. You know, even that doesn't count because they were doing the last movie. Of course, them splitting up means the psycho murderer is nearby. Obviously, considering they killed the least impressive red herring in film just now, and he huh? moves in on Tina. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you when to do it. Do it. Oh my. Why are we guys so close to each other? What are you marrying each other? Home are now being picked off. That doesn't mean anyone's actually taken notice yet. Besides, they decided to take Reggie to town to see his brother Demon. The yes, Demon. Tommy gets tag along too because he hasn't had very many scenes in this movie, all things considered. He stays behind in the car though, so Reggie and Pam go up to meet Demon, played by Miguel A. Nunez Jr. Oh my god, look at your hands actor in the film, outside of maybe John Shepard, but Demon has a hell of a lot more emotional range on show here, and it's nice to see him interacting with his little brother. I know what you want. You want a beer? Yeah. Why don't you take this? Bonnie's gonna be Jason. Why are you tired of doing this? Thus, Pam and Reggie have to go, leaving us with Tina and his girlfriend, Anita, 
Um, I'm gonna start a um private match. I'm gonna start a party, and then guys join it, so then we can all play online in the same session. Um, well, I'm quick. Cause everyone is quitting to play online. Hey guys, then, cause I'm in a five, I'm in a, a party. So then, if I put. Okay, quick play. to other people. Let's play for other people. I don't want to play together. I 
because the stuntman was running out the window very obviously. So, you know, maybe George is just knocking futs. So she runs back out into the rain as Jason casually pursues her, knowing he can't possibly get her back. Of... She trips and crawls as slowly as possible, ensuring the man will catch up no problem. But there is one thing that may still save her. running him over or anything. Hell, they don't even take the obviously working vehicle out of there. They just decide, sure, he's dead, and stand within arm's reach of the body. <laughs> Trying to escape, they eventually hide out in the barn. I told you these guys took Funny Farm extremely literally. Jason is visibly wounded and seems much more taken aback by this than usual, but nevertheless, he pushes forward, ready to kill them as soon as he finds them. Quit the party. Watching what? If you on game chat, you die. We gotta. Knock a head off. Cut the arms off. Get them. Get that nice head clean chopped off. And then grab this person. 
hoochie lady. Linda hoochie lady. I'm using this basic nigger. Are you using the basic character? You're a trap. You put a trap down? Go through a window then. Don't put no damn trap down. <laughs> Don't hit me, Granny. This is me. I'm Jason. Oh, this is you? Then who is the who is the person trying to hit me? Fun, huh? My friend. What kind of friend puts another friend in a bear trap? I'll be back for you. Was he trying to take it off, Bunny? That bear trap? Hold up, before you go on GTA, I want to show you a glitch to get 100 RP. You want to know how to um level up to level 80? Yeah. Who are you? Who's trying to put the boat together? That. You said you were gonna leave. By the way, do you wanna know what gas is? Oh, that's not, hold up, no, 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 no. That you said that's neither of you trying to do that boat. Then who is doing the boat? Hmm. Call Tommy. Call Tommy. Look for Tommy. Oil. You don't need no hoochie oil. All you do is just need a bucket of bolts. Bonnie, where's your teammate? Where is he? Yeah. Where is he? I'll show you. I am black though. So you don't want to be racist to me? Mm-hmm. What do you think I was a hoochie? Who's this? This ain't Bonnie. Don't touch my sweater, you Krabby Patty. Uh-uh, no, no, don't put the firecrackers down. Mm -mm. You can't get me a firecrackers. You ain't Bonnie, you die. You're not Jack or Bonnie, you imposter. Oh my God, you retard. No, this retard. Person over here using the sweater. Don't even need it. 
I just killed a person who just left the game. Please tell me I got the kill. I didn't get the kill. As soon as I killed them, they left the game. Well, got two nodes left. About. I'm not killing no one. I'm just throwing knives at you guys. Who am I supposed to aim at? Who am I supposed to aim at? Am I, spo am I supposed to aim with your grandmas? One for you? One, four. Now this, that's what I, that's why I kill you. And then another one for you, another one for you. Hoochies. We are, oh, what are you doing? That's a nice view. Mm-hmm. It's nice. A pretty nice view. Okay, I'll give you. Give me a view too. Give me the view. Oh my god. I don't want no ratchet car keys. Do you want some gas? Follow me to get some gas. Who wants to die? Who wants to die? Who wants to die? Whoever has car keys. You guys are taking the boat. Come on, come here. You guys are taking the boat. Follow me. Follow, follow me. There's gas over here. I killed someone and they had gas. Mm, I, I would, but. If you try to do some, if you turn on me, then you don't escape. Okay. Just go in that house. Someone needs to go in that house. Okay, now I'll repair the boat. Someone needs to go in the house and come out the house. This house where I, where I am. Yeah, come in this house and then come out the entrance where we are, huh? Come out the entrance and then um, come take mask off. Why are you running away from us? Yeah, whoever, yeah, why are you? Oh, okay. No, Um, just put the um gas in the boat. Put the gas in, oh, I hear snoring. Put, guys, put gas in the boat. What'd you do if you seen this? In real life. I was just sitting there and the, the thing was stuck. Okay, let me do this. One, two, three. Why do I want these ratchet car keys? You going in the water. We, well, I'm not gonna kill you. We're just gonna take a swim. Yeah. If I want it, if I wanted to kill you, I would have been dead it. I don't want to kill. Yes, I don't want to kill you. I just want to mess around. Tell me when you want me to stop hitting you. Okay. Damn, this axe. I'm over here trying to grab it through my TV, but I can't. Do you want to feel some of this axe? 
Okay, let me look at something. Turn around. Yes. Yes, this is a nice view. I'll be back for you guys later. Just go straight. I I don't really know where to go, but wait, um, guys, slow down in the boat. Nah. Actually, yeah. I can instantly drown someone. Who's gonna get drowned? I want to drown someone so bad. You don't even, you don't even know how bad I want to drown someone. You, you guys are gonna escape. Guys can only escape matter one condition. You feed me. Extra large buffalo wings. Who left the teammate? I gotta um Whoever's left is gonna drown. Whoever is stuck in the water while someone else is escaping dies. <laughs> you see this? I'm circling this boat like a shark. I want it from wing stop. Little Caesars! I want KFC now! <laughs> I'm feeling picky about this. Now I changed my mind, I want Popeyes. Who's driving the boat? Okay, who's driving now? Alright. Someone needs to get out the boat and come with me. boat now I didn't mean to do that I meant to tip over the boat um chicken papaya chicken papayas I hope this hobo level up to 31 and he kicks me at the party.
Juke. Juke moves. Yeah. Run. He kicks me out the party, by the way. Can I just drown you? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm at the exit now. And he called me a bad sport. He's mad since he died. That wasn't really an accident that I killed him, I just wanted to kill him. I was hoping it was him, because remember how many threats he said? I just wanted to get some sweet relief. I'm a damn truck, I'm circling this boat. I will never stop circling it. No, no! Yes! Dun, 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 dun. Well, soon as you start the bar, you get a three second head start. One, two, three. Come on! No! You hoochie lady. She did? Oh, this is your first time escaping in the boat? He kicked everyone out. He crappy. Did, is Deadpool talking? Okay, he kicked them. What is that guy playing? I wanna see what he's playing. I'm gonna torture him and whatever he's playing. I'm gonna make sure he has no fun. Fresh Boy Clean sent me a fun request. Fresh Boy Clean. He defunded me too. Who? The Mago defunded me. I defriended first boy, Gee. That guy is so mad. I check my. What <sighs> place is he here? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me check my badges. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You want to take a break? This is going to be the end of this live stream.